Uh, yes, yes, y'all, and welcome back to another nail video. We got a sponsor! Madam Glenn. <laughs> Wiggle the box. Wiggle the box so they can see. Wiggle the box, girl. Hey, listen, when you be praying for stuff and whatnot, it just come on through. Come on, come on, God! So... Y'all know how these nails videos go. Open the box. Baby that adhesive was serious. Here are the colors. Now, I didn't even order these colors, but they sent me these colors, and I'm always make it do what it do because that's what I'm supposed to do, okay? Not only did they send me this box of colors, massage your colors. You have to love your colors, okay? And pump it. 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 That's how you're supposed to feel when you get stuff, especially from Madam Glam. Now, here is the second box, and baby, guess what they sent me? Guess what they sent me? Guess what they sent me? A mini lamp. Who doesn't get excited from a mini lamp? Look at this. So now, like, if you need to cure right then, you can do that. Okay, of course, you got to plug it up. But look at this little lamp. Hmm? If you're using blooming gel, perfect. If you are doing any kind of marbling, child, that's the power button. Okay, that's what you plug in. Yes, you have to plug it in. And you got six little LED lights. Baby, I'm going to tell you the truth. I did not think that them lights was going to do the trick. Oh, these is kickstands. <laughs> Hello. I did not think them little lights was going to do the trick. But, um... They actually did. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to give you a tutorial that my hand could fit up under here. My nail's still long as fuck. But, like, if you turn them a certain way, it still works. There's a plug. And it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the nail polish roll call. We have Amor Azul. Ooh, sexy. I love New York. Yum! Perfect white, as it says there. That's blood orange, and that's on crib. And that's XOXO, because that's the name. Oh, of course, base and top coat. And now we're going to do a little camera magic and swatch these colors. Why? Because I like to do it. Um, This video is going to be a tad bit different. We're going to do this as a story time, child. Because how many times y'all done seen me paint nails? Like, be for real. Okay? The pigment in this, though, I'm going to let you know ahead of time. <laughs> Shout out again to Madam Glam for thinking of the love family. And you already know everything will be in the description down below. So if there's something I don't mention and you felt like you didn't hear it in here, go look down. Hmm, you can't do it from your TV, but get on your phone, tablet, and in order the, the, the mobile device and look in there and see. Okay? So, story time, right? The time I got caught still not at Walmart. Now, some of y'all already know that I have a little bit of an issue with kleptomaniacism. I am actually working on it. Praise God. Okay? Self checkout is my friend. I'm not going to just run up out no store with no shit, you know, like I used to do back in the day, child. Anyway, that's my old life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like to admit that they had a life before this life that they live, but. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. I was in high school. So, Madam Glam, don't take this no kind of way like, ooh, this bitch still. No, absolutely not. Okay, not from y'all. Definitely from Walmart. But anyhow, okay, I'm just going through polishing and painting, child. And y'all know artistic creativity just comes out of absolutely nowhere. But anyway, so my friend hit me up and she was like, bitch. I was like, what? She was like, let's go to Walmart. So I'm like, why? But I'm in the house not doing a goddamn thing. So let's go ahead and go to Walmart. So we get on the bus. Yep, the city kitty. We get on the bus and go to Walmart. God rest her soul. She was such an amazing associate and homegirl after she grew the fuck up. Because as a child, she wasn't shit of a friend, child. Okay, so we get to Walmart, right? So she comes with this house of Darion Clutch. I believe I done told y'all this story before, but everybody that's here now wasn't here then. So you're going to have to hear it again, okay? She had a house of Darion little silver fucking clutch the kind that got them little arms that kind of hook up you remember your grandma had a coin purse so back to the story we get on the bus we go to the walmart now if you're in las vegas you already know the walmart that's on nellis child i'm drawing lines what else you need me to say okay i'm drawing lines should i get a little bit closer i'm gonna get a little bit closer just so y'all can see the lines just because again like i said y'all already know i can't wait to move into the office because the little setup is crazy okay for me to do my nails now since i threw my desk away should never did that but it's okay it's okay. We're going to figure it out what is will. There is a way. So, anyway, we goes into this Walmart. Right? Right. Child, we get up in there, and I don't know what I was thinking. The crazy part is I had money in my pocket. Why? Because I worked. I worked. I went to school, and I worked. 
That was all the fuck I did. So I didn't have no business doing what I was in there doing, but I was doing it anyway. Why? Because teenagers rebellion. Ah, la, 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 la. All that other stuff, okay? So when I was in there doing what I wasn't supposed to be doing, I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing it, but I was like, fuck it, let's go. So we go up in there and the bitch pulls me on another aisle and she has a clutch full of CDs. Who don't know that you don't go steal no CDs out of Walmart? Why? Because they got the little silver thing in there that says, you have activated Walmart security system, which is just what the fuck she did. Now, me being a nail fanatic that I was and am at the time, child, especially when I was learning, baby, because I was out there doing nails for donations, okay? Yes, God, I was. You had to start somewhere. So when they was back looking like chiclets and some more shit all slapped across your finger, that's what I used to do, okay? So I had to go re-up on all my nail stuff, and I didn't want my mama buying my stuff for me, and then she always, you know, picking what I get and all that. No, I want to do it myself. So I went and did it myself, child. So I'm in there stuff and stuff. Now, I had a little purse a purse that turned into a backpack right right okay so i'm in there i got my little purse pack pack or whatever sliding through the walmart child i'm just picking up kiss nail products all kinds of shit Okay, I am putting everything that I can think of that I need for that primer, glue, glitter, all kind of 3D shit that don't even supposed to go on nails, but I'm going to put them on there. Huh? I think I was one of the second people in Vegas to put dice on their nails. Bitch, I may bring the dice back. That's crazy. Or the little crescent moon nails. I used to do so much. Okay? I just be tired now. Child, my frontal lobe done developed. And it's like, uh-uh. What if you got to dig up in something? Not only that, I got to take a gas cap off now. I don't have time for all them 3D decals, starfish, and, and suckers and shit. I'm not doing it. Okay? So, of course, I'm out of camera view. I'm going to see if I can fix that. But if I can't, you going to hear me say... I'm I'm out of camera view. Okay. So back to the story, child. So we's up in the wall. We's oh child. I don't know who learned me how to spoke sometime. I just be tall Ken. Again, I'm gonna interrupt y'all right now and say shout out to Madam Glam. Huh? Shout out to the sponsor. Huh? Amen. Amen. All right. So back into the story. Now I'm walking through Walmart because uh, whenever I do dirt, I do dirt solo dolo, okay? I do a dolo. I do not like nobody around me. So if we up in here, yeah, true enough, we walked up in this bitch together. We are not walking out together. Why? Because I like to do shit dolo. Why? Because of how this whole story ends, okay? So as we going through the Walmart, me and her do a little meetup. And that's when I seen that she had all them CDs in that motherfucking purse. And I said, Jennifer. That is not going to work, girl. Take them CDs out that purse and take them out the packs. If you're going to keep the CDs, you need to just keep the CDs, bae. Do not try and keep these cases and all this other shit. Who are you trying to prove something to like you bought this shit? Put them CDs in a Ziploc bag. Matter of fact, that was before they even had the, the uh, detectives at the bathroom at Walmart. Or go to the shoe department. They don't never put no camera in the shoe department for whatever reason. I guess because like people may be trying on shoes with skirts and shit on. So, whatever. Oh, and that index finger. Y'all going to see that index finger change. Why? Because I absolutely hated what it looked like. And and then I was like, let me just change it. And I did not feel like taking that polish off because this is some real deal Holyfield soak off polish. So uh, you going to have to drill it down damn near to the acrylic. Was not in the mood. Shout out again to Madam Glam for the pigmentation in these amazing polishes. Back to the story. So I'm telling Jennifer, girl, go back there. Okay, take them CDs out that plastic and put it in your purse. Why? Because you're going to set off the alarm. But once I tell you something once, I'm not tripping no more. Why I'm not tripping no more? Because I already told you I go dolo. So when we leave out this bitch, we're going to meet at the bus stop. You understand me? I'm not going to walk out of here arm and arm. We're not going to be giggling and shit. Matter of fact, I already got my shit. I'm headed toward the door now. Okay, I'm headed toward the door now. And since I'm headed toward the door now, for whatever fucking reason, instead of her doing what I told her to go do, she want to walk out the door with me. Absolutely not. I'm leaving through gardening. Okay? If you're not coming back to the garden section, by the time I walk to the back to the garden section, you should already have these CDs out the case. It just be some stupid shit that as kids you just think to go do. Girl, why is you in here stealing and both of us got mothers that work? No reason. Just, just, and had home training, so I can't even say it's no home training, because that would be a lie, okay? Definitely had home training, all right? Just not, didn't have shit to do that goddamn day. And the crazy thing is, her mom worked at a boys and girls club, child. Why we couldn't go up there and play some racquetball, tennis, volleyball, foosball, some sort of ball, te Tetris, 
what they do on the computer. Ain't ain't that still a game? Okay. Anyway, look at my little starburst effect. Bitch, this shit is so cute. I'm going to show y'all the inspirational picture. Pop it in here now, Nelly. Okay, this was my first time uh, doing this kind of design. So, however it looked after a while, because I switched to my other hand, but of course my camera angles were horrible. And then the battery just went dead. As if I was not in the middle of working. Like, hey, I'm working over here. But, of course, the battery just goes completely dead. And I thought I was still showing y'all what I was showing y'all. Then I looked up. I said, mm, the camera screen black. The battery must be low. No, bitch. The camera battery was, the camera was completely off. The battery was completely dead. The phone was dead for like a whole day because I recorded this video straight through. Okay, plus a plethora of other things. But anyway, child, let me get back into the story, okay? So as I'm heading on the garden, I'm like, well, you know what? I done lost her. She ain't behind me. Fuck it, I'm going to go through the front door because I ain't going to walk all the way back to the garden and it makes absolutely no sense. You ain't picked up nothing. You ain't bought nothing. Ain't nobody seen you with nothing. Just going back out the, through the front like, you know, shit, I ain't find what I needed. So I'm heading back out through the front. I'm walking through the door. Now, mind you, at the time, I did not know what LPs was for my new and up-and-coming boosters. Baby, LPs is loss prevention. All right? These are regular folks. They're not regular folks. They're actually security in regular folks' clothes. So, one motherfucker had spiked hair. You know, that's back when DJ Dick, 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 DJ Dick, 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 Pauly D was the shit. So, he had his hair all spiked the fuck up. He had on some red Chuck Taylor, some uh, blue jeans, and a red flannel shirt, a button-up, like one of them red, the, 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 the motherfucking uh, baby shower shirts. The red, blue, and uh, black lines. Them shirts. White. A little bit of that in there. So, I didn't think nothing of it when he was walking to the front, like, casually strolling. I'm like, man, look, I'm only 15 up in this bitch. Make sure you know what you're doing before you say something to me because I'm going to scream stranger danger. My mama do not play that shit, okay? So, I get to the door. I get through the door. Don't nobody say nothing. Don't nobody touch nothing. Don't nobody do shit. We walking casually, regular. I'm halfway to the goddamn bus stop. I'm in between the goddamn cars. I done made it to the handicapped parking spaces. You know them first, them in the front. I done made it to the handicapped parking spaces, right? Right, okay. So when I get to the handicapped parking spaces, why the fuck I hear over the marquee on Nellis and Las Vegas Boulevard. For those of y'all that know that old Walmart that used to stand, it's gone now so I can tell y'all this story, okay? You have activated Walmart security system. Bitch, I never turn around. Why? Because I'm halfway through the parking lot. So if that bitch was activated, it should have been activated a long time ago. Okay? They not talking at me. They not talking to me. They not bothering with me. This ain't about the shit that I got in this goddamn backpack that I done turned from a person to a backpack. They not even worried about me. Okay? Baby, I'm halfway out the parking lot. I'm almost to that little auto zone in McDonald's. Before I hear a bitch say, Nat, they got us. Y'all heard Mike smack in the background. That's how the fuck I felt. So I figured if I don't turn around, even though I got a name plate on that, definitely say my motherfucking name. If I keep walking, ain't nobody going to do shit because they don't know who the fuck Natalie is. There's a bunch of Natalies out here. I'm down here in the Spanish part of town. Any motherfucking way so tell them because they may not even think that my name would be Natalie. You understand what I'm saying to you? Hey, if you feel like that was racist, man, fuck off. Y'all know who I, how I talk. Okay, stop playing with me. Let me hurry up uh, before this video be over with. By the time I end my story, don't be over with. Then I'm going to have to extend the clip. The video. Don't. Don't make me go through all of that. Okay. I hear the bitch yell, Natalie, they got us. As she's yelling, Natalie, they got us. I'm still not going to turn around. Baby, when I say the hand of Santa Claus, the biggest white man, put his hand on my shoulder. And when he closed it, it covered up my entire shoulder. I'm not finna fight with you, sir. I'm not finna I'm not finna fight because quite frankly I'm already caught. Okay. I got to get to this bus. And nine times out of ten, when I get there, the bus ain't gonna already be there. So if I attempt to fight you, you know what I'm saying? It could go bad because I don't have no ride immediately here right now. And bitch, I can't believe that you would call my name out. Okay, I can't believe that. So when I turned around and we locked eyes, baby, if I could have chemically combusted, I mean, blew every part of her body smooth the fuck off. Okay, for what the fuck she just did. Girl, you know better than that. 
You know we do not operate like that. You gonna call my name out? I say. So baby, they walked us back into the store. Okay, all of the loss prevention. It was about 12 motherfuckers there. Okay, about 12 plain clothes security guards that was there. Why? Because the Nellison Las Vegas Boulevard Walmart was the mecca for shoplifting. Okay, it was the mecca of theft. Okay, it was the Taj Mahal of steal that shit. That's basically what it was. That was before self checkout. That was back when you just going to have to go up in there and get that shit and come up out that hole. Okay, that was just it. All right, so now I'm sitting up here from the top coat, the nail shot. I done talked to y'all a good little while. And I appreciate that. And I also appreciate Madam Glam. Hmm. Because this top coat is a, oh, it's not, they do have a no wipe top coat, but this top coat, you do have to wipe. So you're going to see me flash a little alcohol pad and then you're going to see me wiping the nails off. Why? Because this is a no wipe top coat. Do they have one? Absolutely. But you got to make sure you remove the superficial sticky tacky layer when you're using just the plain top coat. If it does not say non wipe or no wipe, you got to wipe. All right, now that we got that understanding, let me get back into the story, child. So they pulls us to the back, right, right, okay. Now, what people don't know is I was spoiled riding as a child, but one thing I was never spared was that rod. I was never spared that rod. And by that rod, I mean that leather, that strap, that belt. My mama used to whoop my ass, which is why I could not understand as I'm sitting in this office full of computers watching every crevice except the shoe section and the back fucking bathroom where I told this weirdo to go, man, where I told her to go to empty the goddamn cases out. Okay, there's no camera footage over there. They literally let you see how they watch every motherfucking body. Even play back the shit that we was in there doing that we wasn't supposed to be in there doing. All right? So they didn't catch me stealing nothing. They had her dumb ass on camera. Okay? The only reason they knew that we was there together was because the bitch wanted to come show me the CD she had in the fucking purse. But since they didn't see me steal nothing, they wasn't going to bother me. But when that bitch said, Natalie, they got us. Baby, I'm in this room, and that man said, okay, well, since you got $348 worth of CDs, we're going to go ahead and charge you both for that. Uh-uh, sir. No, Lord. No, 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 no. No, I'm paying for my own shit. He was like, well, what you mean your own shit? You ain't get nothing. Oh, yes, I did. Baby, I got to pulling all that shit out that goddamn purse, all that nail shit that was like $12, $15, $10, totaled up to about $139. I had $80 in my pocket. So, of course, the man busts out left when I pull this $80 out because he said half this stuff you could have went on and just bought. And we probably would have let you go for a couple of nail polishes and shit like that. He said, but since y'all done came up here and racked up the damn near, damn near $700 worth of shit, we're going to have to go ahead on and charge both of y'all. So, I'm still going to charge you not only your shit, but half of her shit. And I'm going to charge you full on your shit talking to her. So, she had to pay all the money. Okay, she had to pay all the money for her shit. I had to pay all the money for mine. But now... Now, I'm thinking they just going to let me go, right? Oh, no, bitch. They want to call my mama. Baby, they wanted to call Linda Faye on the phone, and I have never begged in all my life to go to Child Haven. Sweetheart, lock me up. It don't make no sense for you to have to call my mama. My mama ain't got nothing to do with this. She ain't got nothing to do with this. Just let me get on the bus. Let me go back home. Let me give y'all this $80. I'll walk home. Fuck the, all the bullshit. Do not call in the face. Let me call my grandmama. So the man realized how scared I was of my mama. He said, oh, no, Lord, we're going to go ahead on and call your mama because you know you up here doing something you ain't got no business doing. Was he right? Absolutely. Again, shout out to Madam Glam. Mm -hmm. All the information is going to be in the description down below. Back to the story. So, baby, he called my mama. Okay, she not answering her cell phone. Why? Because at the time, my mama was a waitress. All all right. So finally, when he gets my mama to answer the phone, it's about an hour before they get ready to take me to Child Haven. OK, my mama comes down there. And when I say I got my ass beat off the frame, baby, I ain't never got caught stealing again after that because I went by my goddamn self. All right, my love. So these are the finished look, child, for everything that you didn't get to see. I feel like I did a great job. Again, shout out to Madam Glam for these amazing polishes. Now, that XO is going to be my go-to cover pink. It's not pink, but it's a cover all color, child. And I absolutely love my little clickers. Y'all already know how I feel. And until next time, mm -hmm. man.